my looking at these documents sort of changed the way I thought about the role of workers in 1989. Um, but the story of solidarity has also changed so much. So that even through the first half of the 1990s, uh, it was easier to look at solidarity and its involvement in 1989 in a very positive light. Solidarity is not only victorious, but then its leader becomes president of Poland, and maybe he's kind of an uncouth figure, like Wałęsa, but nonetheless, you know, there's this kind of solidarity victorious story. And then over the 10 or so years from 1995, as first a communist win an election, and then a communist candidate or an ex-communist candidate defeats Lech Wałęsa and becomes president, and then Solidarity moves farther and farther to the right and becomes more of a traditional trade union but with a distinctly nationalist and Catholic orientation that was always there but was not as evident. Um, today, when one talks about Solidarity, um, the response in Poland is kind of scorn. And that makes it so much more difficult to look at its role at the time. And so I feel that I was rather fortunate, first of all, to be there, to be able to look at solidarity and the movements around it at a moment when they were still sort of unsullied, but also to be able to interview people at a moment when the cynicism was not so deep. The job of a historian is to try to cover what really was there. Uh, you take that moment of optimism uh, at face value and take it quite seriously and not as something that it was foolish or utopian.